top of the morning to you welcome back to chippo fishing i'm feeling blessed and highly favored thank you god thank you jesus so today's video is getting my trolling motor fixed Ooh. oh yeah so it was a warranty item and the problems i was having with my spot lock on my minnacota ultrex was uh, two phase first one which was really annoying is so hard to fish structure when your spot lock keeps on going out and whenever it would go out the foot pedal would either go all the way down or all the way up so it was continuously doing that it was starting to get to be where it would work rarely and go off inconsistent so trying to yeah trying to live scope my fish and doing that at the same time tremendous uh, the second item was I would be putting uh, try to put in spot lock on my foot pedal uh, and it would not go on until I used my remote ran the remote with the propeller and then hit spot lock on that then after that I could use spot lock with my foot pedal so those two issues I called Minnacota and it sounded like uh, I had sliced bread for the first time they're like I've never heard of that you know or, I don't know what could cause that in the meantime the supervisors over there listening on the phone and he had his mic on hot and said it's the devil it's the devil. <laughs> so, um, but I called and talked to the right person. They said that is an issue that's sort of common. It is a sensory, a, excuse me, a steering sensory board, which is several contacts inside of a piece of plastic and it has a ribbon. The ribbon was exposed running around it and up and what a ribbon is it carries uh, carries current and signal or information uh, just like in your computer so um, the fix was they have got the part and they have totally encased it in plastic Minnesota you knew you were putting out an inferior parts in your product but those parts are selling like hotcakes, so why change? But it's a warranty item, so you can get it fixed through your proper uh, authorized Minnacota repair, trolling motor repair shop. Uh, it's not a recall. Recall are more uh, safety issues, where a warranty is just, you, you shouldn't have done that, but we're going to make it right. And on Ultrex, your warranty runs uh, three, three years. So um, I've got it back, and I'm ready to go. And um, I think that um, I think that this is going to be fixed. Again, I just hope this information helps some of y'all out there. So if you recognize those signals, give Minnesota a call, or call your authorized dealer. Also, here's another little heads up. When you have a receipt, um, you're gonna need that. Otherwise, they're going off the date that the actual motor was produced. So, your receipt's good for three years, or they go off the re the actual manufacturer date. And normally, you know, uh, you bought it after it was made. So, uh, if you don't have your receipt, contact the person you purchased it through. Uh, internet sales whatever or from a shop get a receipt and I would suggest saving that on your phone in an email whether you take a picture or scan it and send it underneath you put it in a file that says Ultrex or Minnacota or you know whatever you've got going all right just a little heads up and I'm hoping that this helps somebody questions or comments get back with me and we will talk to you soon. Peace. Oh, shout out. Shout out to Ivan, new boat owner. 
talked to him the other night. He's so stoked, and he's pretty mechanically inclined too. So, which if you got a boat, that's gonna come in handy. But Ivan, look forward to seeing you on the water, brother. Peace.